this. Hello everyone, welcome to what may be the worst decision that I've made. Uh, this is of course for you guys on YouTube, uh, on the stream I was already discussing it. I really want Anadweth off my back, because they are growing too much for what I for I would like. You know, They only have three places, but it's already too much. It's three too many. And with this, maybe Isengard can at least defend itself and keep Rohan at bay for a while. Um, Additionally, this army will then defend against Kazadum or Rohan, whatever it takes. Uh, but for now, I really need to fight these guys, get as less casualties as possible. So, lots of loose formation and stuff. Let's fight it out. And I don't want to wipe out these guys. I want to make sure that some of them survive so that they are close to the city. If they don't enter the city, then I'll attack and slay everyone in the city. If they enter the city, well, then there's just a couple more that will get lost. Oh, hi, kitty. What do you want? Oh, he's so cute. By the way, I'm just gonna start deployment. Uh, okay, okay, what can I do? What can I do? So I want them to be hit by my archers, but also I want these guys to cause their them a trouble. There we go, archer units. Same thing. Okay, I can see that there's actually flaming ammunition, which is quite fine. Usually it means that he'll have that as well. Oh, hang on a second, I have six archers, not five. I'd forgotten about those Druidane. They're very good, actually, by the way. They're very good uh, hunters. Now, these guys have amazingly high accuracy, you know. So that's cool. They're hunters, you know. That's, that's why. Uh, so what I want here is for most of the infantry to survive. It's, this is not a, an infantry battle. This is more of skirmishing. Yeah, I can have these guys on their backs. There we go. And cavalry, these guys are going to function just to pursue their units. I mostly want to see how these guys are going to go for. I mean, there he is. He's bringing in some troops. And that's a lot of raider cavalry and such. But, for now, I think the best course of action is actually to do this. Okay, I think I should move these guys over here in cover of my archers. These guys can just go here. Honestly, I don't need them too much there. I just need them here. Cavalry as well. I mean, this is the flank where everything is going to happen, and he has a lot of archers there. So let's go. Oh, he's already attacking me. Okay, that's not a good thing. Can my archers attack his? Kind of can. There's a hunter guildsman and some other river archers, but they're using flaming ammunition, so that's quite fine, I guess. It's not like they cause extra casualties or anything. Okay, so you guys, you're gonna go closer. You guys, you're gonna go closer as well. You guys, you're gonna go closer as well. I mean, you're gonna go here. These guys, come on, what can I do? I might as well move them here. Really, they're already here? They're very fast, reaching, huh? I shouldn't have moved these guys, actually. Okay, river arches and all that stuff. I think I'm actually gonna send these guys in. Honestly, this is what I should have done. So silly. I could have just sent this in and caused these archer fire. Or this, these archers. Oh, hang on. Don't do that. Yeah, these guys, I really don't need them there. 
need them here. Yeah, because I mean, these guys are just gonna suffer lots of casualties if I'm not careful. Yeah, that was a silly... Well, come on, cat. Really? Here? Now? That's what you want? Okay, my cavalry is attacking now. Okay, there's some outlaws here, so gotta get away. Yeah, now he's moving in. This is the silliest battle that I've ever done. Because I'm just moving all my archers into bad places. There we go. Okay, at least the Grateful Riders are getting some some of their stuff then. Yeah, like I'm losing way too many troops for what I wanted. It's like some outlaws here. Right, let's send the Berserkers in. No reason why, I mean, just four. Yeah, there's two units here, so they won't cause too much of a trouble. Some grateful raiders here. Yeah, there we go. He's breaking. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. There we go. He's attacking now. That's cool. Yeah, these guys will probably just start attacking. I can tell them to attack there. They'll probably do a good job. Where's those berserkers that I had sent? There we go. There we go. These guys, I should move them here. 9% of my units. Well, at least they're causing some damage. Yeah, these guys are gonna have to send them there. Yeah, I'm losing several men here, but okay, these guys I gotta move them there. Okay, killed one of the generals. Consider that a good victory, man. I'm losing way too many troops for what I wanted. I wanted this to go much smoother. There we go. The enemy general abandons his. Okay, this guy is running away. Okay, there we go. Let's let's chase those river spearmen and chase those outlaws. There we go. They have lost half their men. There we go. Okay, the cavalry is doing great. They're pursuing these guys. There's some grateful riders there, which is a problem. Let's see if I can hit those there. Nothing to chase there. Yeah, there we go. There's nothing else there. These guys are just getting chased and chased. This is good. Grateful dry raiders are attacking here. That's okay. Hunter guildsman is still doing some damage. He's really charging huntsmen. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Outlaws are getting thrown back. Really? You want to hit those? That's fine. Amazing! I've lost almost 20% of my men. This is crazy bad. Why didn't I deploy already over there? That was so silly. That's so silly. Gotta remember this. I forgot that they would have a lot of casualties with those uh, ranged units. You know, and instead of fighting them properly, I just, you know, made my decisions to ease them up, so that was really bad. Like, some of my men still have so much uh, firepower that you can totally see where I missed. The enemy army yeah, let's the continue feet. the battle. Honestly, I want to kill as many as I can right now. Are you going to stop that? What are those? Angry Raiders? Yeah, let's go for it. 
This guy is chasing river archers. Let's chase these raiders. These are the worst. I mean, these guys can cause massive casualties if I'm not careful. And they're gonna survive. That's awesome. So let's catch the outlaws, which are non important units. These guys are catching this. Let's catch those outlaws as well. Come on. Man, if I don't get a lot of casualties replenished, I'm so sad with this outcome. I still have most of my cavalry, which is good, but I lost almost a full unit of uh, of units in itself. Like one, of, uh, certainly a full unit of skirmishers in total. Victory. So yeah, I didn't get a lot of them. Like some huntsmen back, some berserkers back, some champions back, but still lost way too much for what I wanted and I don't get to eliminate completely the, the enemy army well if I can cheese the AI by going on some bridges then that's gonna be awesome well not don't always consider that a cheese I mean it's it's a good defensive position but sometimes you gotta do this let's execute them all are they all going to die? Well, they all actually died. An honorable, oh, interesting. Victory. Yes, my lord. So let's merge that. Almost a full unit of Dunlanding Warbands? Really? Right, I guess so. As you command, For sure, I would like to, to build something like this. This is a large town upgrade. Yeah, something like this would be in order. I don't know if a siege tower is important. I kind of prefer the ladders. And what do they have? They don't have a lot of stuff. They do have the faction leader there. I mean, but they ha actually have some farm and pikes. So I don't know. I think I'm going to wait until they try to sell you out or something like that. So for now, economy is ruthless against me. I have to take care of this as fast as possible. We and then attack there. Them, and right now I have to do this. I have to attack this army here and make sure that I get, get it done. And then this guy is going to reach there in like two turns. I wonder if I should Sally... No, I shouldn't Sally out. Hopefully he'll Sally in and I'll be able to defend that. I'll also have this full army there. This is a quite a full army. I mean, how many archers am I sending? A skirmisher, a skirmisher... Skirmisher, Skirmisher, one Beast Slayer, that's about it. And I have our clans there. I have one, two, another. So, there we go, that would make a good army there. Alright, we have to fight this, there's no other choice. So hopefully we can finish it out. Yeah, now, he does have some Hobbitry Norms, some Merchant Cavalry. I guess the Shire Militia will have to send the Berserkers, but this is not the good, a good fight for me at all. The good thing is that I have better quality um, general, of course. So yeah. By the way, guys. Yeah, he's sleepy. Hello, kitty. Okay, I'll wait. I actually prefer that. But he's sleeping on the mattress of my mouse, so it's gonna get full of hairs. Well, what doesn't when you're when you have cats at your place? So the biggest single threat is the where's the spearman that I had? I had a spearman unit on that on that. I didn't. I had only bandits. So I'm glad I recruited these spearmen. Okay, so these are the guys that have to withstand against my, the enemy cavalry. I don't know where he's going to be, so... Yeah, this is all to face the enemy cavalry. There we go. There we go. This guy is there to lure. The cavalry. So I got some six arches of reinforcements. Okay, there's the merchant cav. So I need to send them here fast. Yeah, there we go. There's some hobbitry in arms and chai militia. I'm gonna attack the 
Merchant Camp? No, I already know that they cannot cause a lot of damage. They're gonna do so against the Hobbitrian Arms. There we go. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna go over here, fast. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over here. Spearman, you're gonna go over there. There we go. Not the shy militia, attack the Hobbitry. Get that out. I wonder if I should attack those. I don't know. Really want to destroy as much as I can from the merchant cavalry before having to turn against this. There we go. Okay, I'm still glad I'm hitting some of these hobbits and hitting them on the back actually, which is always nice. Okay, he's sending some farm and archers there. Not a good thing. So here's what I'm gonna do. Actually not really like that, I want them a little bit deeper. There we go. What are they hitting? They're hitting the farmant? No, I want them to hit the, f the hobbitry in arms, those are the dangerous ones. These guys are gonna hit some shy militia, I guess. These guys can force the farm and archers to stop their fire. Look like clan hunters, they're managing to hit these hobbitry in arms, but they're not doing any damage at all. Yeah, they're still hitting the Shire Militia, that's why. Alright. Okay, at least the farm and the archers are no longer attacking. They're no longer reloading, right? That's good. We can move away, come on. Disengage. I wish there was a disengage button so that it will stop we attacking whatever. This, we will smash the enemy. Really? We'll smash the enemy by this? By sending out six men against them? Okay, they're, they're completely missing all their shots because of this bad weather, so I'm just gonna move them here. And now we can fire, come on. Yeah, this Merchant Cavalry, it's the most important unit to hit. There we go, finally some shots there. There we go. That Merchant Cavalry is the only unit that I truly fear. Because the rest, it's quite fine. Okay, let's see if I can get the Watch Sheriffs di diverted a little bit. There we go. He's m merging in, so that's kind of fine. Where's the Cavalry unit? I don't know. Okay, I'm attacking these Watch Sheriffs, that's nice. Hit those Hobbitrian arms, come on. Okay, there's the cavalry moving in. Okay, I think he's gonna attack this guy. So I'm gonna send them in. There we go, Spearman will be able to catch them. That's perfect. There we go. Okay, that's great. That's awesome. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Clan Hunters, you can still hit the Hobbitry. Let's hit the Merchant Cavalry. And you guys, you're gonna keep going. 
against them. Isaac X-Men and Chieftain's Bodyguards, let's attack there. These six clan Dunlending Warbands, they're gonna do that. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. There we go, let's attack this. Well come on. One station like that. That was silly. I think I can win this, but still, I mean. Okay, hit them. Come on, send those. Come on, Dunlin Huntsman. Can you? They can't. Okay, let's move here fast. So they can hit them, actually. Yeah, Shire Militia is suffering heavily. Okay, let's hit this Merchant Cavalry. Come on, you can hit them. Here we go, a good shot here. There we go. That causes some damage. Our ally lies dead, slain by the enemy. All right, that was the general there. Stop it. Withstand the fight. There we go. They will. Let's send them in. Right, the Shire Militia is dead. Okay, so, so far this is a victory. I just have to confirm that I don't lose specifically good units. I'm gonna have to send this against the Farming Archers. Finally, they are celebrating the death there. Okay, there's no longer enough Merchant Cavalry to kill all my Spearmen, so this is what I'm gonna do there. Brigands, you're gonna pursue those guys? You're gonna take that hobbit in arms? I guess so. Right, there we go. There we go. I know that he's killing a lot of my men, but it's quite fine there. Isaac X-Men, let's attack here. There we go. There we go. Right now I'm pretty sure that I win this, just unsure on how many casualties I get. Really, what sheriffs are just causing so much? Regans, let's move over there. Farming archers, hobbitry men at arms, that's nice. There we go. The enemy general abandons his men. There we go. Pregans, let's attack there. Okay, got the enemy general. That's nice. The cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Let's see if I can force them to die. The enemy army there we go. Pursue and run them down. Let's go for it. Okay, so that cavalry is not gonna... is going to survive, I mean. So this is good. It's one of those sieges uh, that, that I managed to make them survive. Those guys are doing great. These guys might be able to catch up to the farm end. Unsure.
Yeah, but these guys are able to catch up to these hobbitry. That's nice. There's some other units here. Yeah, but that's a guy. That's okay. And over there, that's some what sheriffs already killed the general there, so that's kind of fine. Yep. There we go. Let him run off. I guess actually already won the battle, so. This is a clear victory. Okay, didn't lose too many units and still got some casualties there. So I guess this army can still survive for a little while. Um until at least, you know, I think I have enough to get an army to deal with Bree or to even push them a little bit. Um, I didn't want to push too much, though, because uh, it's better to hold the defensive position there. Execute them all. So this army is still around here. I'm just going to position this guy to defend. Okay, so at least... Some of my economy is back, and it's cool. This guy will attack there, that's okay. Over here, I still have enough men to deal with that army, for now. And I'm sieging this place. I wish I could attack it, or that he would move in, you know, to, to try and kill me. So far, there's no threat directly from them, so... I think we're doing fine. So let's see if this was a good or bad decision, but that will be on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.